This tutorial will show how to most effectively search for lease properties on the SEBA system. This particular search format is available by clicking the New Search button at the top center of the SEBA website. There are default parameters on the left hand side most commonly used ones are in this first category called search listings. You'll see that you have the ability to search by SEBA ID number, as well as searching by lease rate, total rent per month, and also by available square footage. Other parameters are available under the gray boxes in the lower left hand corner. Under the Area Location tab is the Market Area drop-down menu that many SEBA users are familiar with. To return to the default parameters, click Search Listings at the top left. It's the first gray bar. To begin your search, you can search using parameters first or you can adjust the map in the center. The map in the center acts as a parameter, the physical parameter or the area parameter, much like how you would use a polygon or a radius. In this case, we'll search in the Tri-Cities. I can double click wherever my cursor is, or I can use these plus and minus indicators in the lower right hand corner. You'll notice that as my area becomes smaller or as I've changed parameters here on the left hand side, the icons begin to appear in the, on the map portion of the page. Each icon represents a building and you'll notice they're in different colors and have different letters. When you're doing a search, if you've made a very broad search, you can use the map key, also in the lower right hand corner, to decipher the various colors and letters. Let's go ahead and limit our search only to four lease listings. We'll go to listing type in the upper left hand corner and uncheck or deselect the for sale options. We can also choose various asset classes will search for retail and office. You're not limited by the number of asset classes you can select. So we've desele we have deselected all of the items by unchecking select all and then checking retail and office. Then we can continue by addressing the available square footage, say, 1,000 square feet to 5,000 square feet. When you're entering available square footage or total building square footage, remember not to use commas. The system will automatically add that information in for you. So this has given us 131 listings. We can continue to change the map. We can move the map around. And the appropriate listings that meet our parameters will continue to populate within the physical boundary that we've set. That physical boundary being what we can see here on the map. I can also take this same search that I've done in the Tri-Cities and I could move it to Spokane. I can zoom out, move up to Spokane, and begin to double click and zoom in to find other appropriate properties that meet the parameters that are on the left while, still, while changing the map parameters in the center. So these are the properties in the Airway Heights area that meet the parameters that I've set. 
1,000 to 5,000 square feet of office or retail space for lease. I can view them in different ways. I can click on the tags to see small previews. Or I can click on the item on the right hand side and view the full listing. The full listing will not only include all of the information about that particular property, including the commission, the rent, the total monthly rent, the lease type, lease expenses where applicable, the days on market, and the date it was last modified, as well as the broker's information and, and any associated files, which can be non-disclosure forms or elevations or any other kind of details but it will also have any history that we might have on that single building. You'll see that this building has multiple listings and we know that not only because these listings appear at the bottom in the lease history but also because I can use this button at top to change from item to item. If this is the one listing I am interested in, I can create a report based on this one listing and send that by email, PDF, or I can save the report to the SIBA system. If I click on Back to Map, I also have the option to create a report based on all of the all or some of these listings. I can deselect listings using this circle with an X in it, and any item that's deselected will not appear in my report. So these are the two lease listings that are most interesting to me and I'll click create report and build a report based on those items. We'll address creating reports and report details in another video. If you need more parameters, look in the gray tabs at the bottom left. Use the map key to decipher colors when you view listing results. If you have any other questions, we're happy to help you. You're welcome to call the office at 425-820-3348, email us using the Contact Us button, or by chat in the upper right-hand corner of the SIBA website. The office is open Monday through Friday from 8 to 5.